We'll hide out here. Hang on, won't be a minute. because I told Leith I was buying a jet boat and he goes what are you buying a jet boat for you haven't even touched the last boat unless you guys haven't worked out by now I have issues I have issues with buying stuff like my life revolves around scrolling Facebook and trying to buy stuff right which you can probably well yeah you know like you can probably work out that yeah I've got some issues right so if I've got one, I need two. Like, I need a matching pair if I'm gonna have, like, I really, like, this isn't just a YouTube video. I do have issues, like, I admit it, um, but that's who I am, and it's why well, you guys watch, I suppose. So, right, so I'm scrolling on Facebook yesterday, and I find a jet boat, right? So it's a, it's a jet boat, it's a 1991 Flight Craft Phantom. I know nothing about boats, but it doesn't mean I won't compulsively buy some. Um, it's had a 350 Chev in it and pulled the Chev out. Everything else apparently is there. Um, so it should be just a case of drop another 350 in. Um, and the big, it's a jet boat. If it was just a normal propeller boat, wouldn't care too much, you know, but it's a jet boat. I'd love to have a jet boat because I've never had one. I know nothing about them, but that doesn't make any difference. So in theory, I can just drop another 350 in, get it working, and then we've got the blown 350 that can go in there later, right? So. And then for YouTube videos, because soonish I'm going to be here full time doing restoration work, right? So I'm not going to be out driving around and doing stuff. And I want to get out of the workshop occasionally. And I figure if we've got the boats, because we've got two dams out here um, Boondoomba Dam and Sir Joby Occhi Peterson Dam over near Mergen. And I do have a second boat. So this boat here, I don't know what sort it is. I bought it off a mate, top bloke. Um, he's right into his Valiance. You have, you have seen him before in one of our older videos. He come in with a, a red two-door, VG two-door that he wanted to sell. So this thing here has a slant six in it. So we can get this cover off. See, so slant six. Big girl, it's got some water in there. I better um, try and drain that today. All right. I've never played with this yet. I haven't ran it. I haven't done anything with it because um, I don't know, I'm sort of strange. If I if I don't build something myself, I don't, um, I'm not confident in it. So I've got to start playing with this to get used to it. It's, um, when we got it, it's got a propeller issue. Apparently the propeller on it hit something and it, um, and it bent the propeller. So I've got to get that off and get that propeller shaft straightened up um, and then get it to go. But I'm going to drain that water out of it today somehow. There aren't bungs in it. I might have to lift the front of the boat up. I'll do that in a second. But yeah, so, all right, so what this video is, I suppose, is me admitting to my issues. It's part of my 12-step plan to buy more cars and boats now. Um, so yeah, all right, this afternoon, off to look at a jet boat and let's see how we go. It's pretty cool. I'm pretty happy with it. It's got this cover on the back. Um, it's got red interior. It's yellow. I don't really like yellow too much, but anyway, it's pretty cool. Let's go buy a boat. All right, the SS is back, as you can see, so good polish on this thing, get it done. Nicole's coming for a run, and let's go get ourselves a jet boat. Maybe, we'll go have a look. We, we all know I'm buying it, but let's go have a look, see if we can do a deal. All right, so it happened. Yes, we got this last night. So my jet boat is sick. So it's got this big jet, it's got a mad cover, see? Motor sits here, interior's pretty good. That seat sits back, that box there's full of everything. But um, yeah, so looks like it's missing the trim from there, so it's got that one. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna head over to the workshop now. I've gotta stop the steel shop to get some steel to finish off this horse float so I can sell it. But yeah, so she's a beast, pretty happy. And just so everyone knows, I didn't buy this because Cletus bought boats. Obviously I already had a boat. If anything, um, Finnegan from Roadkill with his jet boats is the reason when I saw a jet boat that I would have bought a jet boat. But to me, what this is, is splitting up the content. Because if um, you just work on cars, 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 this will get us out and about and doing something different, which is gonna be pretty cool. Plus, anyone that's ever had a blown Chevy or blown engine in a car, 
it's very hard to be able to drive it around somewhere so being putting a blown motor in a boat you can use it so yeah right oh let's um let's get over the workshop and show the captain all right so we've got the boat back and we're just about to go through it all so it's missing at least just undoing the engine cover on the other side yeah so the jet unit's pretty cool i've never really looked at them before so when that caps up it means you've got jet coming out so you go forward and that goes down you got reverse and then to set your trim this bit here this ram here which is actually in the boat it's got this mad cover Let's go back on the ground oh. come with a boat cover and pull this out no all right so in the back basically motor bolt straight to that tail shaft we've got a little coupling that comes with it a bit of wiring still the front plate goes to that no sorry the yeah, the front plate goes to that, and then there's mounts for the back, straight in the exhaust. That's missing that interior piece on that side. I'm pretty happy with the interior. This thing's cracked. I don't know if I can order one of these somewhere to get a new screen, but um, we'll go through the box of goodies. Yeah, see what old captain thinks of it. Righto, so there are our headers. That's a battery box, obviously, which is nothing. Pull that one out. So that's the second header. That's our front plate there. That's the coupler that goes to the crank and then to the uh, tail shaft. That there goes to the front of a Chevy, so the, like a water, where the water pump would sit. Um, a bilge pump. A little exhaust extensions that go um, Looks like it had a, I don't know, it's a water pipe on. And there are front mounts. Everything just pretty much seems to be there, so I'm pretty happy. What do you reckon, Captain? Yeah, it's not too bad. Yeah. I'm sure we can do something with it. It's not a difficult exercise, I can't see it being, but I'm happy with the boat. Obviously it needs a clean up. It is very yellow, so we'll probably take it to James at JS Signs, who does the um, shirts and stuff for it. He does wrapping. So we'll probably wrap at least the top of it to um, change up the yellow. But I'm happy with it. Tirana hot wires. I love this interior. I love the, the seating style. Like most boats have the big inboard here and a seat at the back so the motor's in the center. Whereas this with it being at the back is pretty cool. It's got a good loop at the back here which is good too for a tube. Because it would suck if you... They put a seat at the back here and then they put like a ski pole in the center. I don't get it. I'm not a boat guy though, so that's probably why I don't get it, but still, I'm pretty happy. Jet boat. Yeah. I said to the guy, why is the jet unit hanging out so far? He said, because it's a small boat um, to, you know, get more room in the boat. You'd be hanging the jet unit out the back. This bit here is pretty steady, but you can stand on that. So that's not too bad, but um, yeah. So now I've just got to go on a mission to find a, a 350. There was a 327 for sale last night. I saw on Facebook that was pretty cheap. Do some rings and bearings and go from there. And then eventually we'll put the blown 350 in it. Yeah, so, I don't know. Any thoughts, Captain? No, not really. No? You as interested in boats as what I am? Yeah. I'm only interested in this because it's a V8. I think we can go fishing because it's got like a a fishing ruler, special bag limits. How many bags can you have Is on a boat? Is there an actual water pump drive for it? it? It runs from the jet. Oh, does it? Okay. Yeah, I did ask that. Yeah, yeah that went well. <laughs> um, yeah, under something not so exciting now, which is... I've got to finish this horse float. And um, yeah, I've just started putting all those things back in. I'm gonna make all the pins up to drop it all together. Hit it with a little bit of paint, fix that up. Here's my Bedford van, how sick's that? Yeah, mad. It's full of um, Commodore interior and engines and stuff. I'll get back, I'll get to me vans one day. One, one day. Right, eh? horse float it is now. He's aren't interested in that, so yeah. I wanna sell that, because I wanna buy a motor for that yeah it's called robbing peter to pay paul which is the story of my life